it, it was a guy who said that he wants to pay me five thousand dollars to. What is up guys and welcome back to the vlog. As I'm sure you guys know, my sickness is still not over yet. Right now, Paolo just came over. Dev's out here washing his car. Uh, I invited Paolo over and we are gonna smoke some hookah. So I think I'm gonna heat that up right now. Probably not the greatest idea since I'm sick, but at this point, it doesn't seem like anything is gonna make this better or worse. Damn, daddy, you got that. Dude, just uh, imagine, bro, just like. You got that, uh, br you got that brush dick. <laughs> Dude, that thing's fucking mammoth. That would really do some damage to me, my insides. <laughs> right, Dev? Definitely. Definitely. De definitely. Definitely. There hey, you go. There it is. You knew it was coming. Rachel's out here setting up some new lights that she got, because the old ones didn't even fucking work. And what about for down here? Oh. Griffey's out here just hanging out, being a good boy today. Look at our foam brush. This shit isn't even a fucking foam fucking whatever the fuck that is doesn't even fucking work i think we need to get some adam's polishes bruh we smoked some hookah while Devin was finishing up washing his car they all got a little hungry so we decided to head over to roberto's and grab some food honestly we really have not done shit today not shit. not one fucking thing we've been sitting in the man cave i haven't even played fucking ps4 i've just been sitting in here fucking around on my phone and right now Devin and i are listening to music fucking around with all the snapchat filters and now i have like almost a thousand of you guys added on snapchat and i've tried sending these snapchats to every one of my friends list it takes so long to scroll through and select everyone but some of these snapchats are so fucking funny and then you guys are returning and sending back the funniest fucking snaps. So honestly, that's just what we're doing right now. And it's really, really fun. Kind of just taking it easy resting today because tomorrow is the day that I go to New York. And I don't want to be sick my entire time that I'm there. We've been over here still Snapchatting people doing crazy shit. And I've been getting some of the craziest snapbacks. I literally just had, it, it was a guy who said that he wants to pay me $5,000 to suck my dick. And I don't know if it's true, but I'm honestly over here contemplating that <laughs> offer. Like, five grand? Could use that right now. What about you, Dev? Uh, I can use it, but I, I don't know. Yo, you do know. I, I, I know you, Devin. I don't think you know me well enough. Devin would definitely let someone swallow his kids for $5,000. Not, not, not a guy. No. Uh, I think so, Dev. I, I think you would. I don't think you, you definitely know. would. You don't know me well enough. I do. I've been living with you long enough. I know your fetishes. How do I sound? Sound a little bit better? Because I feel a lot better today. I know there's not much vlog footage in this vlog, but let me tell you, I am feeling so much better today than I did yesterday. I really just needed a day to rest. But... I know I didn't do much yesterday, but you know one thing that I did do is I went to Roberto's and Roberto's is Mexican food. Not only that, but Rachel made tacos last night. And you know, every time I eat Mexican food, I have some weird ass dreams. So I just got done eating a bowl of Reese's Puff Bunnies, Easter edition, hashtag ad, uh, hashtag sponsored. It's actually spring edition and not really hashtag ad, hashtag sponsored because I don't get fucking brand deals. But I was eating my bowl of cereal and I was just like recapping the weird ass dreams that I had last night. And I'm gonna give you guys a little insight on one of the dreams I had last night. So it all started out in my car and I was driving. I, I was speeding, I think I was doing like maybe like 80 and a 65 or whatever. All of a sudden, cop lights come up and I, I'm getting pulled over and I'm like, obviously I know I'm speeding. So I was telling you guys the story and I was hearing this weird ass noise so I had to come outside and see what it was. And it looks like today we are gonna be getting some pretty bad thunderstorms the noise that i heard was thunder but let's get inside and tell you more about this dream so back to what i was saying i had gotten pulled over by this cop for speeding or whatever and he's like you know wh why were you speeding i was like i just got my car back he's like i understand that but you can't be speeding and next thing you know he gets a call on his walkie talkie i couldn't really make out what it said but the cop literally just stopped doing what he was doing, ran to his fucking car and took off. So I'm like, you know what? I'm curious as to what's going on. I'm gonna follow this guy. So I follow him. I already told you guys I had Mexican food yesterday. Devin was fucking playing GTA last night. So somehow those two things ended up crossing. And we get to like the scene or whatever. And there's like 50 people with fucking like AK-47s, AR-15s, just crazy guns. And they're just normal people. And what they're doing 
is they're shooting everyone and then going into their pockets and taking all of their money to get as much money as they can for whatever reason. So I'm like, fuck this, I need to get out of here. Devin is behind me, I don't know, he just magically fucking Houdini'd from somewhere. So we're driving and we're doing like 100, and these guys are like shooting and shit, so I'm like, you know what, I gotta go fucking faster, I'm not trying to get shot. We're doing 140 miles an hour in my dream, yes, my car really does do 140 miles an hour. And fucking, I, these guys are shooting people, and I'm trying to fucking like swerve to run them all over and like, save some people's lives and shit, but for some reason, it's just like, I, I can't hit them. It's it's not letting me hit them for some reason. So, Devin and I come to a bridge. The bridge is like all blocked off with a fuck ton of cars, obviously, because people are going crazy. They're all getting out of their cars and running. And we get out of the cars, and we start running. The next thing you know, these guys come to kill us. And I'm like, dude, this, this is it, we're gonna die. But thankfully, Devin and I both had some cash in our pocket, like 900 something dollars, maybe like a thousand bucks. We took the money out of our pocket and we're like, hey, look, you know, this is all we've gotten so far. Kind of like making it seem like we're working with them, which is kind of fucked up, but in, you know, needs of survival, you, you do what you gotta fucking do. So Devin and I did that and we survived and then these guys are like telling us to like get in their car, we're going to the spot, and Devin and I don't even know what the fucking spot is. So we get in the car and we go with them and they bring us to like this weird, it's like a log cabin almost on the side of a river and the craziest shit's going on. They have like three or four people that they captured that were like working with them and then tried turning, you know, like flipping the cards and doing some stupid shit that they weren't supposed to do. So these people are tied up and these guys are ready to literally throw them in the fucking river. And I'm like, hey man, like, you know, you, you don't have to do that. Obviously they fucked up, just let them go. We got enough money, blah, blah, blah. And that's when they found out that we weren't really a part of their association or whatever the fuck it was that they had going on. So Devin and I both end up getting tied up and they fucking push us both, both into the fucking river. Okay, dreams, my dreams are weird as fuck and they can have a turn of events ridiculously fast. We're like going down the river and I end up breaking free and then there's like all these big fish in the river so I'm like, hey, let's go fishing. And I started fishing, I started catching some fish, and then I'm thinking to myself like, why the fuck am I fishing right now when we were literally just almost killed? But like that's what happens in dreams, and then Devin actually ended up coming downstairs in real life, and uh, he woke me up and said that he was leaving. He's actually at jury duty right now, or like the pre-selection for jury duty or whatever it is. He could be there until five o'clock, and he's been there since noon, so this could be like a five hour long process. But I have a ton of laundry to do, ton of packing to get done. Like I said, feeling a little bit better today, but I do have a ton of preparation to do to get everything ready to head out to New York. So with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for listening to my crazy, weird ass, like unrealistic dreams, but hey, they're dreams. And uh, I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. It rains.